What up? Mr. Josh here, and in this video, let's talk about sex. Sorry, no. Motivations, motivation. Wrong video, that's for another day. So, a problem a lot of people have when they're trying to learn English, or just language in general, is that they try to do too much, or they see the problem as being just too big. I always know when I'm gonna get a time waster. When I ask the person, what do you want to learn, and they say, everything, or if they say to me, I want to have two hours a day, every day for a year, ha, no. That is not gonna work. What you need to do is set goals for yourself that you can actually reach and that you can actually do. There's a good video on TED Talks, try something new for 30 days. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description down below. And the basic idea is, if you set yourself an achievable goal, you stand more chance of doing it. And when you do it, you'll feel better about yourself and you'll want to do more of it. So, before we get started, do me a favour, hit the subscribe button down below and also uh, like, helps me out immensely. Step one, find a subject that you really like. So, if for example, you really like cooking, right? Concentrate for the month on, I'm going to learn about all the words to do with cooking. Find a cookbook or a website, whatever, but let's say a cookbook for the sake of simplicity. And try and make it a cookbook that you already know probably some of the recipes. I have one here, Jamie Oliver, 30 minute, what? Jamie Oliver's 30 minute meals, okay? Next, having found your book, find a recipe that you already know. So whatever it is, I don't know if it's scrambled eggs, whatever. And learn that recipe, learn the words of that recipe. The reason for finding one that you already know is that because you already know it in your own language, when you're looking at the recipe in English, it will be much easier to work out what all the different words mean. For example, in English, when we're talking about mixing for food, you've got stirring, whisking, beating, folding. There's probably others, but I can't think of them right now. If you just try to learn those words randomly, you have nothing to link it to. You'll forget it. But if you learn what it means to beat an egg, yeah, for making scrambled eggs, you'll associate beat, the action, eggs, it will stay with you. Don't be tempted to try and learn too much. Set a reachable goal. So just say, I'm only gonna do one recipe a day. Learn that recipe to perfection if you can. All right, if it takes an hour, it takes an hour. If it takes two hours, it takes two hours. But just learn the one recipe. Don't be tempted to find a recipe that is like really quick and think to yourself, oh, I've done this one in half the time, I can do another one. Don't do that. Just set a reachable goal. <clears throat> so do this every day for the month, 30 days, 31 days, whatever the month is. You're probably gonna feel to yourself that you're not learning much. And that's the point. You don't want to learn a lot. The human brain can't really learn more than about 10 words in a day. What you want to do is make like small changes because the small changes at the end of the month will add up to a big amount, okay? So while you're learning all these words to do with food, you'll probably realize that some words cross over into other things. For example, you can crush garlic. So when you hear someone say they crush their fingers, you'll know what it is. A lot of words in English cross into several subjects. It's the complaint Russian people have when they're learning English, because in Russian, a word only has one or two meanings, but in English, a word can have 20, 30 meanings. If you want, as a little side note, when you read uh, a word that is like a verb or whatever, see what other possibilities it has, okay? So try this for 30 days, yeah? Just learn small chunks, easy victories, because the little easy victories will make you feel better about yourself. And by the end of the month, you'll suddenly think to yourself, whoa, I know a lot of stuff about food. And when you're done with that, pick another subject. Maybe something you don't like. Maybe something you know nothing about. And start again from scratch. Small changes will make a big difference in the end. It's not for nothing that I have that written on the cover page of my website. Well, 
all this talk of food is making me hungry, so I'm gonna leave you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and um, hit the like button. Makes uh, a big difference to me. Makes me feel better. I need the love. Bye.